actually are the co-founders of Query Legal. So, if you look on the screen, you'll see an email that came across our Yale Law School listserv not long ago. It's a pretty typical email. People turn to law school graduates again and again for help finding lawyers, because often it's hard to find good ones on their own. But, as you can see, even the 200 graduates, law school graduates on this listserv are stumped. They know how to find expensive, bill-by-the-hour attorneys, but they don't know how to find talented, mid-price lawyers who can help small businesses. We understand why people turn to personal networks to find attorneys, but even the well-connected lawyers on this listserv can't find lawyers this way. So tonight, we're gonna to show you how Priori makes the process of finding, hiring, and managing lawyers fast, transparent, and cost-effective. Thanks, Mira. <laughs> I don't want to be in front of that. <laughs> so we built out a curated online marketplace in New York to connect the business community with a network of trusted and vetted lawyers at below market and wherever possible fixed rates. And we're really excited to announce that we will be coming to Boston this spring, and we're really excited to meet all of you tonight. But Mira is going to show how easy it is to use Priori to search for, select, and hire a lawyer, and as her business grows, how she can use Priori to make sure she's spending her legal dollars wisely. So when she logged into her Priori homepage, she selected Request a Lawyer, and she's taken then to a pretty straightforward form to tell us a little bit about her business and the legal need that, that inspired her to come to us tonight. And she is going to be a new tech startup in need of a first round of financing. So after she um, finishes telling us about her financing, she's going to hit submit. And then this form is going to be sent to the Priori administrators. And now she's switching into her admin hat, um, who will put together a hand-selected <coughs> short list of lawyers who are appropriate for her legal need and we'll then send it back to her, and uh, she will be able to review and compare this, this hand-selected list of lawyers. And Mira knows that Priori has thoroughly vetted all the lawyers in our network, so she knows that everyone she's seeing is excellent and can simply focus on comparing their differences. And so we've put together pretty... <laughs> <laughs> pretty extensive lawyer profile so she can see how the lawyers describe themselves and their practices, their years of experience, the areas in which they practice, and their education. And after she's had the opportunity to review that, she will then turn to everyone's favorite, pricing. And all the prices that you see on Priori's network represent a 25% discount off the lawyer's usual rates. And we work with lawyers to put together flat fee packages just for Priori clients. And so in this case, uh, she might decide that Jack McCoy looks like an appealing option. Um, but you notice here that Jack's financing package is a little more expensive than the other two lawyers she reviewed. And that's in part because of his more extensive experience over Elle and Bob, and also because his financing package includes more opportunities for advisory and negotiation than the other two than the other two lawyers had. And so even though we encourage lawyers to be really creative with how they package their fees, because we believe that different packages of services are right for different clients at different times, the one commonality is they're really clear about what's included and what's not. So you can make sure that you're making a good investment in your legal services. And so once Mira settled on Jack, she will be able to indicate her availability for a complimentary half hour call sometime in the next week. Um, and will then press submit and be taken to a questionnaire that is specific to financing that the Priori admins also would have selected for her. Um, and we put these together by working with lawyers in lots of different practice areas about the types of information they need when they're doing an intake interview to make the initial call as efficient and productive as possible. This is then sent to the lawyer along with the initial set of background questions she answered and her availability. And that lawyer will be able to set a conference call through Priori's system 
at a mutually convenient time. And um, my time is up, so I won't show you our analytics. But they're really cool. <laughs> You'll have to check it out. Somebody ask a question about analytics. <laughs> yeah, show us your analytics. Yeah. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> together a suite of analytics <laughs> that help you track and manage your legal spending over time. Um, and we're going to be doing this uh, with dummy data because it would either be really unethical or extremely expensive to show you the real thing. And when Mira does load that, um, you'll be able to see how much we're, uh, you're spending by month, by matter type, and a few other things and it's really cool so it didn't work <laughs> yeah it's really cool see so you can see how much you're spending by month how much you're spending on different types of packages uh, how much you're spending by matter type and how much pre-worry is saving you at the bottom cool yeah. How do you keep your prices down? Well, so we work with lawyers um, with lots of different price points. So right now, for example, the lawyers on our platform range from $150 an hour to about $650 an hour, but they are contractually obligated to offer a 25% discount. How do you vet your clients? So glad you asked. That was the next part of the presentation. <laughs> um, so we have a pretty thorough vetting process. Um, we begin with an application that has sort of collects baseline data where people went to school, their bar admissions, um, resume history, things like that, sort of verifiable baseline facts that you need to know. Um, all of our attorneys have at least five years experience, and many of them, or most of them, have more than that. Um, after we've reviewed that information and decided that there's somebody we want to work with, we invite them to come in for an in-person interview where we sit down, learn a little bit about their practice, get a sense if they're really ready to be working with people online, meeting people this way, using our system, we do, do integrated billing and invoicing, um, so we need to make sure that it's a technology fit as well. Um, after that, we check references, um, clients and lawyers that they've worked with, and then do, as Basha said, a fee negotiation to make sure that the deals that are running through the site are sort of packaged for the kinds of clients that we have and are reasonable. Can you describe another part of the presentation that you weren't able to talk about? <laughs> um, sure. So, for example, um, we are, as Basha said, we're launching in Massachusetts later this spring, but we are already. Um, building out our lawyer network here. So if you, if anyone here has worked with lawyers or is a lawyer who sounds like they'd be a good fit for us, we'd love to meet them. So come up and meet us afterwards. Um, is there a process for taking care of this customer satisfaction or anything like that? Because if any day you're dealing with another person's services, there might be a disagreement on how those services were rendered. Absolutely. Um, so at the end of every representation, we do reviews, and we're also pretty constantly in contact with people if they need us. Um, and if someone isn't getting, if a lawyer isn't getting good reviews through the network, or even if they get one not glowing review, we will check in and see what's happening, and if it's a real problem, we won't work with them anymore. You know, our model, um, which we also didn't talk about very much, our revenue is not derived from our lawyers in any way, shape, or form. And we think that that's a real hallmark of the quality of the, the practitioners that we're working with. We don't want to have any, any blurriness around why we're working with the lawyers we're working with. Uh, we don't want to have every solo practitioner in America on our site. We want to have several thousand of the most excellent. And I would just also add that Part of the flat fees that we were showing before, um, we're really encouraging lawyers to fill out those packages so it's really clear what's included up front because a lot of these issues really come down to communication. At the beginning of a representation, people you know don't know as much as they do partway through. And so by sort of building that out, everybody's on the same page to begin with. And we're also at priority there to sort of grease the wheels of communication and um, as people go. Thank you, guys.
Join Boston New Technology Meetup. Sponsor an event or a venue. Present your idea and attend to network with Boston's brightest. Details are at www.bostonnewtech.org and in the video description.